Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And what I want to go through in this video is show you the collection center in QuickBooks desktop. Okay, so this is this is a feature that um, a lot of people don't know about and uh, don't really use. Okay, so I want to show you how to use it and how it can be helpful in your day to day use of QuickBooks. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to edit and you're going to go down to preferences. All right. So, and if, if you're not familiar with edit preferences, the preference center here, um, you can change all sorts of things uh, in your QuickBooks file of how you want it to automatically show things. Uh, so, I mean, if you look down here, you've got accounting, bills, calendar, etc. So lots of different uh, things in here that I encourage you to explore and take a look at. All right, so you're going to go to sales and customers. And you're going to see up here, you got two tabs, my preferences and company preferences. All right. So click on company preferences and you're going to see an option right here that says enable collection center. All right. We're going to go ahead and click that and then click OK. And then when it says it must close all open windows, you hit OK. OK. So now when you go to the customer center, you're going to see an option up here that says collection center. If you don't have that uh, under the preferences, if you don't have that box checked, this will not show up. All right. So you go ahead and click on collection center and it's going to show you, okay, here are customers with overdue invoices. All right. And then you have another tab almost due. All right. So overdue and almost due. And what you can do from this tab, is you can click this select and send an email and it's going to send a mass email. I'll show you that in just a second. And then you can say notes and warnings. All right. So if you have notes, you can click on this note and, and you can add a note to Christy or that particular customer. Um, you can see down here that 1-6-2019, an email was sent to the customer. All right. So we can cancel that. So let's click select and send an email and you'll see that uh, it's going to send a mass email. All right. And you can check off which ones you want it to send an email to. So it doesn't have to be every single one of these. And you put in uh, the appropriate customer's email address. So this is going to come from the, you know, the customer setup and uh, the center, you know, you're going to put in that customer's email and it's going to pull that from there and use that email address. And then it's going to put in this default information so you can change this email. You can have it do whatever you want it or have it say whatever you want it to say. And your invoice will be attached as a PDF. Okay. So if I click send, okay, it's going to tell me it's a sample company file. So I can't email the forms, uh, but it's still sending it uh, through Outlook. It's going through the motion. I want to show you what it says after you uh, send those emails. Okay. Okay, so selected transactions have been sent from QuickBooks, hit OK, and now it's going to automatically put a note in there, okay? Sent email to customer. Okay, what I like to do is say about past due invoice, and then just click save. All right, so this is a nice area where you can easily look at, okay, which um, invoices are past due, uh, which ones are almost due so you can send reminders to customers as well. All right. And uh, so it's a nice place. You can look in here and see which ones are, are coming up that uh, need to get paid and you can send those reminders to customers. All right. Any more questions? Uh, head on over to the QuickBooks University. We've got additional free videos over there plus 47 on-demand tutorials that uh, with our members we have places where they can come and ask me personal questions about their QuickBooks file. So go grab those uh, free videos over there at QuickBooks University. Website is qbuniversity.org.